Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, thank you so much for all of your support. It truly means the world. With that said, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So, as you can see, I have a new layout. Do you love it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you like the old one? Do you want a new one? Let's have a look. So your destiny card for the week, what is the overriding energy that shapes up for you? And this week you get the magician. It's all about the power, right? I was actually gonna sing that song there. It's all about the money, <laughs> but it's not. This week it's all about the power. What are you gonna do with it, right? Sagittarius, you have your ruler in your sign. Jupiter is tracking backwards through your sign at the moment. And it's not that things slow down, it's not that opportunities stop coming to you. It makes you more conscious of the opportunities that you have and whether you utilize them to the best of your ability. The destiny card is basically saying, this week you figure out what it is that you've got to say. This is you really standing up front and center and saying, you know what? This is who I am and this is what my message is to the world at large. You are leveling up this week, right? And when I say you're leveling up, it's not like a, you know, bam, like I'm here and everybody's gonna know my name overnight. This is you leveling up from an internal perspective, right? This is about you being noticed for all that you can do and ultimately people receiving you in the way that you want to be received. This is about people recognizing your mastery in some way, shape or form, this is where people are gonna to start to respond to you because you're responding to your opportunities in a more mature manner. That's not to say that you didn't before or that you're not already mature. What I'm saying is you are now utilizing the energy that surrounds you that much more because you're doing it that much more consciously. So let's have a look at your direction. How do you get there? How does this shape up or what does it relate to? And it relates to the Ace of Swords, right? So this is about the direction. How do you get there? How do you do that? By speaking your truth. The Magician card is about communication, right? It's ruled by Mercury. So it's all about speaking, writing, listening, being on stage, talking about what you do. But ultimately it's about mastering what you do as well. The Ace of Swords then comes in as the direction that says through swift, direct action. This is not a week for you to procrastinate, Sagittarius. This is not a week where you can kind of sit back and, you know, I'll take my time and I'll mosey on through. The Ace of Swords always asks you to be decisive in your action. You have to step forward and when you go for something, you go for it full and wholeheartedly. And one of the things that I've always said throughout my entire life and a lot of people laughed at me for it, some people praised me for it, but fuck it, I don't care, either way. The truth of the matter is, for me, I would sooner make a mistake with the full force of my being than do something half-assed, right? So take it or leave it. If it works for you, fantastic. If it doesn't, don't, you know, leave it, chuck it away. But that's the message that I feel like is coming through for you this week. You've got to be swift in your actions. You've got to be direct. And the fact that you know, you've got the Magician card and the Ace of Swords, look at that. Aces are new beginnings, new starts, fresh perspectives, right? And as I'm looking at these two together, it really is about you standing and, you know, and looking at yourself from an internal level and saying, right, okay, I'm going to utilize all of this in a much better way. I can be a lot more productive. And it starts with you being truly decisive. And ultimately, this is on a mental plane, right? The Magician card is all about Mercury. The Ace of Swords is all about the air sector. So there's a lot going on in your mind or underneath the surface. So with that said, I know a lot of you love to skip my intro, so I'm putting a shameless advert in here <laughs> for my hardcore ride or dies, I know you won't mind. With that said, Tribal Tuesday starts on the 4th of June. 
It will be the first one of many to come, I hope, and it will be running every three months. So once every three months, I will open this up to 10 participants, no more. So if you wanna be a part of it, click the link in the description box below. If you wanna be a part of the secret Facebook group that is just for the tribe, uh, where there will be a whole bunch of interesting and amazing stuff taking place. Get on, take a look. With that said, let's have a look at your insight card. So this is all about extra information for the cards that have already come up. Ooh, you've got a jumper, right? So your insight card is the five of cups, right? Not, an in, not, not a great card, to be honest, because it represents loss, it can represent mourning. However, because it is the insight, what it's asking you to look at is what, and I mean, you're a Sagittarius, so you do this better than anybody else. What meaning can you take from what you have lost? What you've had to let go, what has left your life, right? I mean, with the Ace of Swords in close proximity, this could very well be somebody, like a, a specific person that may have left your life. With the insight being the Five of Cups, you're being asked to, to really look at that and say, what has it taught you? What meaning can you derive from that? When you've got the Five of Cups with the Magician card, is there some past opportunity that you keep looking back at and saying, I wish I could have done that differently? Is it time to let that go? Is it holding you back in some way, shape or form? Five of Cups touching on that Ace of Swords is asking you, where is it before that you have held back on doing something for somebody or even for yourself because of somebody else? Is there some past relationship that has left your life? Is there some person that's left your life that's left you thinking and wondering how you move forward from here? This Five of Cups as the insight then is saying, why is it that you are relying on someone or something else to make your dreams come true? What is it about someone or something else that you need in order to make what you want to be a reality? right? That's what you're being asked here. You don't need anybody else. Bring it back to yourself. You've got this whole realization going on in the mind this week. So don't let this five of cups creep up. And now that you've heard those questions from me, it's giving you that, right? Have a think about it. What does it mean to you? Where have you held yourself back based on other people or other events? I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week and I will see you very soon. Take care.